Hey, Twist Minions, welcome to another Twist Short. I'm Dr. Kiki, and I want to talk about mind reading. Mind readers and psychics have been debunked repeatedly by scientists and skeptics as charlatans and swindlers. However, a fascination with the concept of collecting information from the human brain continues. Recently, a group of researchers from the Laboratory of Brain and Cognition at the National Institute of Mental Health published a paper that suggests we are on the trail of being able to tell when someone is lying by reading signals in certain areas of the brain. They first used functional magnetic resonance imaging to pinpoint areas of the brain where blood flow changed in such a way that they could tell the difference between thoughts of yes or no. Subjects had to think the words and then verbalize them so that the researchers would know what was being thought and connect certain brain blood flow patterns to those specific thoughts. Based on their activation patterns, the right superior temporal gyrus, in their left supramarginal gyrus, and the left middle frontal gyrus were best areas for this yes-no determination. The scores were definitely above average, but still far from perfect. The researchers could only tell the difference between a yes and a no about 80% of the time with averaging the results of the individuals. The decoding accuracy went down when they looked at individual trials. However, the study really starts to get interesting with the introduction of deception. The subjects were asked to lie on some of the trials. For example, they had to think the word yes, but then verbalize no. The results suggest that the concealed, or what would be called the true thought, can be decoded from activity patterns in the brain areas they focused on. So even though the subjects were saying one thing, the analysis could tell fairly well when they were thinking another, between 66 to 78.5% median accuracy depending on the brain region. Additionally, the brain activation patterns show that the true thought preceded the overt declaration in time, and true thought patterns were similar, whether or not the subjects were going to lie. So what does this all mean? Well, it means that now, researchers with really powerful MRI machines can potentially tell you meant to say yes when you said no, but only, asking, only after asking you the same question a bunch of times in a carefully controlled situation. In all actuality, it currently doesn't mean very much at all. The study looked at simple binary responses, yes, no, zero, one. Humans rarely think in binary, so there's a long way to go before this process is up to the challenge of truly decoding our thoughts. It also relied upon specialized technology that's not going to be available anytime soon to the average person. Yet with the advent and rapid development of consumer-level brain-computer interfaces, I don't think it's going to be a stretch to wonder when we might be, be able to enable complex tasks like brain-to-text communication. I'm Dr. Kiki. Thanks for watching. This has been a Twist Short, and you can find more shorts and regular length Twist episodes and subscribe to us at youtube.com slash thisweekinscience. Follow us on Twitter and Tumblr at Twist Science, or just go to twist.org for more information. Let me know what you think in the comments. We won't know if you're lying. And remember, it's all in your head. I squish your head. I squish your brain. I squish it. Now, now, there'll be plenty of time for eating brains after we conquer the earth.